got mail. Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And my name is Miska. And welcome to Overwatch Central, and welcome to the Mailbox, a series where we answer a lot of your questions regarding Overwatch, heroes, maps, or anything about the channel. As per usual, if you want to send in your questions, all you have to do is put them in the comments below. Do not worry if we haven't answered them already. We may be collecting a couple of questions together to make a video on, or we just might be waiting for a better opportunity to talk about stuff. Let's get straight on with the first question. First up is Bradley Tostin asking, do you think any of the maps are imbalanced or favor attacking or defending? Generally, it seems like people have an easier time defending. This probably happens due to the lack of coordination in public matches though. Attacking can require a bit more coordination than defending, but overall I feel like the maps are balanced. We have issues with attacking on some maps, but after analyzing our games a bit, we can see what we've done wrong and do better next time. Certainly attacking stuff like control maps or some of the payload maps, it can be quite difficult to do when we thought that there was a balance issue to begin with, and so did a couple of other people. It was brought up on the Blizzard forums and Jeff Kaplan quickly came in with this sort of pose saying that this is a tricky problem, they are watching it, but actually the win rate on attacking some of these maps is a lot higher than people seem to think. To read from the answer, at newer slash lower level skills, attackers win roughly 38-40% of the time, medium is 40% of the time, medium high is 45 to 50, and high skill level attackers win from 50 to 60% of the time. Next up we got a couple of questions about our favourite heroes for each role. We have actually answered this before, but our answers have changed a bit since the heroes have changed slightly. So we're going to answer again and try and be a little bit more concise. Going from left to right with attackers, defence, tanks and support. My favourite attacker at the moment, I do enjoy playing Genji and I do enjoy playing Fire, but I think I get the best results as Soldier. I think he's always a good hero to have in your team. Defence, I don't play a lot of it at the moment, but I did play a lot of Torbjorn and I did have a lot of fun with him and the nerfs have been good to him so I'll probably still say Torbjorn in this case. I don't play him enough but he's still a good hero to play and he's a lot of fun. The tank I've got to say Winston. We saw the game yesterday where I played a lot of Winston and he is really good fun to play because he gets the job done. And last but not least support Zenya easily. He is very good for your team. You can weaken the enemy team and there's a sort of skill level for him as well. You know you can really get some cool shots off he's just a really nice role he's a little bit too weak on the ground i feel but at the same time the sort of change that he can make to your team and the enemy team is great and it's a lot of responsibility but i do enjoy playing him anyway right now i'm really enjoying lucian mccree those two are definitely my favorite heroes at the moment but maybe i like lucian since he's such a strong hero and probably the best support in the current meta anyway that leaves tank and defense heroes so for defense I will have to pick Junkrat for his damage and utility and then Winston for the tank since he's so much fun to play on control maps. Knocking multiple enemies off the side of the map is great fun and yeah, I just love playing Winston at the moment. We got a very long comment from Atopic08 with some questions about matchmaking. If getting matched up against competitive players would ever be an issue and so on. I'm gonna try to keep this fairly short and just quickly go over the idea of matchmaking in Overwatch and what Jeff Kaplan has said in the past. Personally I can't really remember being stomped by more experienced players because of bad matchmaking in any finished game I've ever played. And I'm sure Blizzard will work hard on improving and expanding matchmaking in Overwatch. We're bumping into some former Quake pros right now because of the limited pool of beta players as well as ranked matchmaking not being a thing. Upon launch there will be more than enough players to find games the right skill level for everyone, I'm sure. The top players will gain enough hidden and ranked MMR to not bother the new ones and so on. That's just how matchmaking works, really. When talking about ranked mode, Kaplan originally mentioned a ranked mode for just pre-made parties of 6, so I'm more than certain that we'll see the size of the pre-made parties being taken into account when searching for both ranked and unranked games. But don't worry, you're gonna be able to play ranked solo and probably with as many people as you'd like. Kaplan's original idea about being locked into a party of 6 wasn't received very well by the community so I'm sure they've changed their mind and talked about it. Ish asks just wondering have you ever thought about doing some guides for each hero? 
it's something I'm really excited to do. At this moment in time, we don't want to do it because we are still kind of a small channel and we also want to wait until it gets closer to launch because A, more people will be looking for that kind of content and will want to see it. And B, probably most important, that stuff changes. So we don't want to make a, a guide about Tracer and then she gets buffed down the line and we have to do it again because of, it's just kind of pointless in that sense. We are going to be doing map guides up until then because the chances are maps will change as much even though some hero changes on some of the maps may change. We feel it's a good time to do it, so be sure to look out for that on Wednesday and let us know what you think. Yeah, so like Ryan said, quick hero guides that tell you everything you need to know will be released later down the line. We'd love to get your feedback and ideas for these though, so leave comments if you have any requests or ideas. We have a pretty solid idea of how we want to structure them, but we'd like to hear your thoughts as well. And last but not least, we got KepXX saying, Hi guys, nice video. Do you see playing Overwatch solo as an issue? They also go on and give us some examples of that other YouTubers have addressed the issue of playing solo, being a bad experience in Overwatch right now. And yeah, solo queuing in Overwatch can be frustrating at the moment. The matchmaking system isn't perfect and playing against a pre-made party will be a challenge to say the least. A solo queue is essential for sure, but when the game is released, it will also be easier to find friends to play with since access won't be limited so you'll easier be able to find a party of six to play with rather than having to go into solo queue. Setting up a penalty for just flat out leaving a game as well as adding a solo queue should be enough to make the experience better but I'm no game designer. The lack of communication is always frustrating as well. Uh, we don't tend to get angry at people but at the same time when you ask somebody to change because we've already got a Genji, somebody's already sort of pencil it in and they don't change or you have somebody playing a support that changes to a Hanzo on the offensive team. It's really annoying and it's really frustrating and we'd be lying if we said that we didn't find ourselves getting annoyed at solo queue problems like this. I think this is Blizzard's biggest problem to address at the moment because this isn't a sort of hero balancing. This is the whole game in a sense. But so far Blizzard have been amazing with listening to people's problems and I don't feel that they would ignore something like this. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to add your questions in the comments below if you have any. If you haven't seen them in this video or any other videos already. Like this video if you want to see more videos like it. And subscribe for more Overwatch content. But until next time, take care. We'll see you then.